What is popping spuds and spudettes? This is definitely cocked here and I'm going to be doing a very short review of some custom bionicle masks that I've purchased in the last year or two. So my buddy Forest Demon makes custom bionicle mold masks with his own colors and such. I purchased two. I purchased a Kanoe Huna and a Kanoe Anika. Both with different kind of styles going on with the colors, but let's just jump into it. So the first one I got was the Kanoe Huna, the Mask of Concealment. Got a blue and pinkish kind of gradient going on. There's a bit of glitter in there as well, and Demon talked about some kind of flower pattern that was in it, although I'm, I'm not entirely sure what he meant when he said that. Um, you'll see that the light kind of goes right through it. The mold isn't as thick as you'd get in an original mold from Lego. It does feel a little bit brittle. I feel like if I had it in one hand between my index and my thumb, I could probably snap it with that force alone. It is pretty nice to look at though, however, it doesn't go with a lot of the mocks that I made. The second mask that I got was the Kanoe Anika, very similar to the Huna. Kind of thin, a little bit more firm in the middle. The light goes through it as well. This mask was supposed to have some kind of glow in the dark feature if you charge it up enough at light. I couldn't seem to get that working. The mask looks nice all the same. And the third mask that I purchased was from Red Star Forge, which is a Kanoe Picari Mordica, so a mask of strength. Unlike the previous masks, these are custom design, so they're not from an existing Lego or Bionicle mold. And this is my first time buying a 3D printed mask. It's quite nice to look at. You can see it has a kind of a matte finish. I did purchase the most highest durability in terms of the options, so I did appreciate how strong it felt. It didn't feel like I could break it between my index and my thumb. It felt like if I was to break it, I'd probably need to do it between two hands. It feels incredibly firm and strong. Um, I would say that putting the uh, axle through the top of it, as you do with Hordika masks, was kind of difficult. It felt a little bit narrow in there, incredibly difficult to put that through, but the mask looks fantastic. I don't know if the camera does it justice though. Here are some comparison shots between the official moles and Forest Demon's work. You notice um, at the edges they're a little bit scuffed, but other than that the scale is pretty much there. My only criticisms would be just how durable they are, they do feel very weak. However, I am quite careful with my masks. It's a pity that the glow in the dark feature didn't work for the Anika, but whatever it was fine. And seeing those colours on the Huna was pretty nice as well. The Pekari, I can't praise it enough, it's a very wonderful looking mask. It's just great work all round. That is my review of Forest Demon and Red Star Forge's custom masks. Um, they'll be linked down in the description and I'll have some annotations going around the screen as well. Definitely check out their stuff if you're interested in buying anything from them. It is even so, definitely give them a follow because they do work really hard on their stuff. Thank you for watching and listening and dubious character out.